So today we went back to an old favorite, El Quetzal Teco Grill. Kill me in the comments if I got it wrong, or if you know how to pronounce it, put it in the comments phonetically, because I always call it El Quetz, and I just leave it at that, give people directions, because it's definitely a place they need to go. Today I went, I had the burrito, that is, it's a chicken burrito, it has pineapples, and it also has a mango sauce in it. Rice, beans, you know, those, those grilled fajita vegetables. It was A1, you know, whatever spilled out of the burrito, because they do stuff this burrito. Whatever spills out of the burrito, you just take the chips that they give you, put a little bit of the salsa for the uh, chips on it, and you just use that to scoop, just like you would if you were at a uh, Chipotle. But anyways, I had that, that was A1. One thing I do go to them for, and this time I didn't because I wanted to try something a little bit different. Their pupusas are amazing, and they're at a good size, cheap price. I think you can get three of them for 15 bucks. You see, three for, yeah, I think it's three of them for 15 bucks. And I mean, the last time I went there with a co worker, he got three of the pupusas. He ate two of them, he took one home, and he still had the itis. He, he was pretty much done for the day. But he needed that muscle because we, we had to move about five or six refrigerators. So it all worked out in the end. Uh, you can get their enchiladas, which are very good. They come with uh, yellow rice, beans on the side, vegetables, the tacos, which are more the street style tacos, not the huge version that you get from Taco Bell or any of these other chains. They're these small, round, I think it's a four or five inch tortilla. You get three of them for, I think, about 10 or 12 bucks. They do have seafood. I'm not really big on seafood like that, so I haven't actually tried their seafood. Uh, quesadillas, they're always good, but, I mean, everybody orders quesadillas, so doing a review on those are kind of pointless. A quesadilla is a quesadilla. Now, the pupusas, we can get into those. The cheese, seasonings. I mean, I don't know what all is in a pupusa, but if I can make them on my own, I definitely would. Uh, their burritos, they have their run-of-the-mill burritos, and then they have their specific-to-them burritos. Those are always good. They have their baked chicken, just like any other Spanish spot. I mean, I can't name everything that's on the menu. They do have a kid's menu, so you don't have to worry about all that. Food-wise, for everything I've tried so far, and I've tried a lot of things, burritos, enchiladas, quesadillas, tacos, pupusas. I'd give them a B plus at, at very minimum. The drinks that they have, they only have bottled drinks that I've tried. They do have a fountain drink, but I usually drink the juices. They have frozen fruits that they've, uh, how do you call those? Liquefied, they have liquefied frozen fruits that you can just, you can just pick them up and buy them. Uh, mango, pineapple, you know, those assorted things. Uh, it's not really an upscale place. They keep the tables and the floor clean. I mean, as far as cleanliness, I probably give them a C plus, but I mean, that's just looks. I, I definitely have seen them more than one time walking around cleaning everything off. The kitchen doesn't look that pretty, but it definitely looks like a kitchen that people are cooking in all the time. So I would still give them a B plus overall. And anytime I'm in that area, if I'm even within 10 minutes away, I'm definitely going over there to get my pupusas, my enchiladas, whatever I can think of that I feel like eating that day.